What's happening guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing my most essential comic and manga book buys for July of 2022, so stay tuned. <music> All right, it is that time again. There are some pretty amazing books coming out this month. Way too many, actually. So first up, we have the Yodorowsky Library Collection, volume number three. This book collects the final Inkle, after the Inkle, Weapons of the Meta Baron, Meta Baron's Genesis Kastaka, and a few other selected short stories. Now, this book is slightly larger than the other library collections. It is at a slightly higher price point as well. But if you're into weird, strange, sexual, gory sci-fi stories, you can't go wrong with this. So next up, we have Berserk Deluxe Edition, Volume 11. I'm sure you've seen these around. These are pretty freaking amazing. They are three in one editions. That means there are 33 volumes collected so far. So we've recently received some news that Berserk is going to be continuing on past volume 41 following the death of author and artist Kentaro Miura. I will be checking it out once it releases. However, I do have my expectations in check knowing that no one can really ever replace Kentaro. And you know, I'm just hoping for a decent conclusion and you know, life is uncertain. What can we say? All right, so next up we have Razor Blades by James Tinian IV. This book collects issues one through five. It is a horror collection. I've been pretty impressed with James Tinian's work. I've read Something is Killing the Children, um, Meme Tick, The Nice House on the Lake, and they've all been pretty good. Next up we have Ice Cream Man Deluxe Edition, volume one, Sunday special. This collects the first 12 issues. This was supposed to come out last month didn't happen. Hopefully it is happening this month. Easily some of the best horror stories out there. Easily one of the best ongoing series out there. Not necessarily about an ice cream man, but he is this evil presence lurking in this world. They are individual short standalone stories. So next up we have Gunslinger Spawn Volume 1, The Trade Paperback. Really interested to see what they do with this main character. It's a bit of a Western vibe. Um, I read the first issue and really liked it. Come on, Todd McFarlane is awesome and he's still releasing some pretty awesome stuff. Next up we have Volume 2 of Noctera. This is by Scott Snyder. Really enjoyed Snyder's um, American Vampire and Swamp Thing. This is a pretty unique post-apocalyptic series about the sun not existing. Bunch of different monsters, pretty cool. Definitely have to reread the first volume before jumping into this just to recap my memory. I have a feeling this will be released as a hardcover one day. I mean, it's pretty good. Next up, we have the Deluxe Gimenez. This collects two stories, The Fourth Power and The Star Conspiracy. This is published by Humanoids. This dude, um, he worked on the Meta Barons with Alejandro Jodorowsky, and he's done some standalone stories, and I guess they decided to collect these in Deluxe hardcovers. I haven't read them. I do have my expectations moderately set. I know it's not as good as the Meta Baron series, however, it's good enough to get a deluxe edition anyway. So hoping for the best. And that is it for the month of July. If I miss anything that you would think that I'd be interested in, or you want to let me know what you're picking up this month, I would love to know. Until next time, take care.